Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I want to show you how you can find image sets easily. There's two ways to do it. So at the moment, there's some really popular image sets. Creator Critter is super popular at the moment. And what's happening is that people are going into images like so, and they're searching for create and you're getting images like this come up, which is not what you're looking for when you are trying to find create a critter image set, or they're typing in critter and are getting zero results. The reason being is because in images, you're searching for an image. So be that an elephant or a chick or a duck or whatever it might be. Whereas Creator Critter is not an image name, it's an image set name. So one way to find it is if you come up to categories, select all images, it will bring you to a screen like this on desktop. I am going to show on the app in a different video, but for now we're doing desktop. You'll see we've got highlighted categories. We're going to come down to image sets and select that. Then in the image set search, I can search for either create, which will bring up four results. So we've got create a friend, create a critter, create a critter, which has got two images or create a critter two. I can also put in the image set search critter and that will bring me up five results, slightly different ones. So we've got creepy critters, camping critters, and then our three creator critter sets. If I type in create a critter, I'll then get all of those sets. So create a friend, creepy critters, camping critters, and all three of the creator critter sets. So if you know the specific name of the image set, make sure that you're searching for it under image sets and not in the general image search because you will not find the image set via the general images. If you're looking for the specific name, you must search for it under the image set search. Another way to find image sets is to actually just select an image you like. So again, if we go to images, and I find an image I like, so for example, this one here, I can actually find the image set for this image. So it'll take me to the image set and it will show me all the images that are related to this one. So if I click on the three dots and I then select view image sets, it will take me to that specific image set. So this one is anti Valentine's Day tattoos. I can then open that up and I can use any of those images that I want to. So you'll find that there's some image sets that are cut only, some will be print and cut only, some will be draw only, and you'll also find some that will have all three of them. So if you click on a cut image, for example, when you open up that image set, you may find that not only is it available as a cut, but it's also available as a print and cut and as a draw as well. So it's always worth actually clicking on the three dots of an image and going to view image sets so that you can see what other items are available in that image set and whether they're all draw, print and cut or cut. So if for example, I find an image I like, like this one, I can then select the three dots and select view image set. That will then take me to that specific image set, which in this case is storybook friend sentiments. But that doesn't mean it's the only image set. So what I can now do is actually search for the words in that image set like storybook and see what other image sets come up. And you'll find that often there'll be two or three that are all related. So if I now search in the image set search for storybook, it brings up 15 results. I can see I've got the mushrooms there. I've got some other ones that are also quite similar to it. There's some more mushroom ones there. There's spring illustrations. There's four elements illustrations. There's printables. 
there's all sorts of different ones there that are all related and you'll see that some are print and cut some are draw some are cut so it gives you a huge amount of options so, so image search is a really really great tool in design space if you've got any comments or questions please do leave them below please give the video a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell and as always thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you all again soon bye